Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to launch Xbox app on your Windows computer because of this error, that is error code is 0x800-70426. Now to fix it, the first step is to update your Windows to the latest version. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can try opening Xbox app. Still not opening, then the next step is to update windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file, then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now, once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop, find Windows ISO file, make a double click on Windows ISO file, then run the setup file, make a double click on setup file, click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. Now, the next step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now, for this, copy this just uh, type in gaming services repair tool in google search so go to microsoft website here you can see xbox support gaming services repair tool for pc and then on this website scroll down and then you will you will see the option which says downloadable click on it scroll down and then click on download the gaming services repair tool for pc and once the download is complete run this exe file Click on yes to allow and let the process complete. This may take a couple of seconds or maybe a few minutes. And once this is done, you will see completed successfully. So once you see completed successfully like this, now you can close this and then you can try opening Xbox app. Now still not opening. The next step is to install Xbox identity provider and gaming services now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see download option click on download and it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store if xbox identity provider is not installed in computer you will see the install button over here in my case there is no install button or get button if you don't see it that means it is already installed if you see install install it also, uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now, for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on Run as Administrator. Make sure that you open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on Yes to allow, yes to allow and then paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. Now, once this is done, now Copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. So copy this command. And then you can, on the same window, you can paste the command, hit the enter key. It will open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now click on install. 
click on yes to allow and let the download complete once gaming services is installed then you can try to open xbox app and then you can check still not opening in that case the next step is to repair or reset xbox app now for this type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app and then click on app settings and scroll down on this screen you will see the repair option so here you can see first of all click on terminate and then click on repair and once the repair is complete now you can launch still not working then click on reset reset and once the reset is complete now you can try to open xbox app and then check now still not opening in that case the next step is to uninstall and reinstall reinstall xbox app now for this you can type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app and then click on uninstall uninstall and once xbox app is uninstalled now you can go to any browser and then type in xbox app in google search and you can go to xbox.com xbox app for windows pc and then you will see the download option over here click on download the app and then run this exe file and then once it is installed you can try opening X xbox app so let me run the file once again put a check over here click on install and let the installation complete now once the installation is complete you can click on let's go and it should open xbox app so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install xbox app successfully on your windows computer and you should not receive this error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel